One of those big changes, of course, is a flood. When it rains a lot, right? It rains a lot. The, wa the rivers, lakes, and other bodies of water will get so much water, they'll come up and they will flood the surrounding areas. Sometimes we see that probably where you live in the summer months when it rains a lot, sometimes the rivers and lakes will come up and there will be water everywhere in people's homes, unfortunately, on streets. As you can see, it might come up to where cars are usually driving. So a flood happens when it rains a lot, lots and lots of rain, uh, and the rivers and the streams overflow. They flow over their banks. Okay, so if you live in a city uh, where it has a river running through it or that's near a river or streams, it rains a lot, especially during the summer months, those rivers will grow, get too big and they'll come over, they will overflow their banks and flow into your town or into your city, and that's a flood. Now, the opposite of a flood is when it doesn't rain at all, right? A long period of time when there is little or no rain. Yeah, as you can see in the picture, we call this, of course, a desert, right? There's little or no rain here. And you can see the ground. Look at the ground. It's so dry that the ground has become uh, cracked and it's curving up because, you know, this is mud. And mud is usually uh, wet and moist and it's soft and it's, it's all flat. But when there's no water, the, it dries and it curls up and it cracks like this. And we can see just by looking at this picture that there is no water in this ground. And that's what happens because the land gets very, very dry. We can take a look at a picture, uh, a better uh, a video of this type of environment. Okay, as we can see, this is a, a place where there has been a drought for a long time. Now, we can see water in the background. It looks a little bit wet way back here. Maybe this water comes up in the rainy season, but in the dry season, it hasn't rained for a really long time. So all the water has probably evaporated and it's retreated. It's gone down to this very small part here. And most of the rest of the land, there's little or no water at all. There's no water here. It hasn't rained for such a long time that this land has dried out and it's become cracked because it's so, so dry in this area. Okay, and as I just said, I use that word crack because we saw some examples of that, right? When you look at the land like this here and you see many cracks, uh, we call these, these openings, an opening in the ground, we call them cracks. Now, a lot of these cracks are made because the land is dry. A crack is made when the land is dry. There's no water here, There's, because water is kind of like a glue, really, that holds soil and, and earth and ground together. When there's no water, that glue kind of breaks up, right? And the, the land separates, right? And that's what creates cracks. And it's very obvious also in the uh, previous pictures, when the mud gets so dry, right, that water's gone, so then the, the mud separates, it gets dry, it starts to curve up, and there's a lot of cracks. Now this is in rock, so it could be from because there's no water, or it could just be because the rock is very hard. There's other reasons why ground cracks, not just because of dryness, but other impacts, like an impact could crack the land. If the land is shifting or moving, that could also crack the land, but we call these things cracks, these uh, openings between the spaces between uh, the rock on the surface. Those are cracks. Okay. Now, what we, we can also use another word to describe this process, right? We're talking about how the weather changes the features of the land. Now, over a long time, we can call that weathering. Weathering. That's kind of a long word. It starts with weathering. It's weathering. We can, we can say that that is a process. That is the process of the weather changing the environment. The breakdown of rocks by the action of rain, snow, wind, etc. And when we talk about weathering, it, sure, it's a change, but it's usually a destructive change. It's not a change for improvement. It's a change that destroys something. It destroys the rocks. It destroys the, the environment because a lot of rain will fall. The rain will, will pick away at the rocks little by little. Uh, wind will come by, and wind you know, over a long time, hundreds, thousands, millions of years, will start to carry off pieces of rocks. It will shape the rocks. And of course, snow, when snow falls down, both the weight and the cold 
also will act to destroy the rocks. Now, by the way, weathering is also a common word used to describe what the weather does to your house, right? So if you talk about uh, the weathering on your house, you're also talking about the destructive action that the weather has on your house. It might create uh, stains on the side of your house. It might show your paint on the outside of your house might show cracks. We call that weathering. So it's not just uh, about rocks, but it can also be about just about anything that is kind of destroyed by the destructive forces of the weather through rain, snow, and wind. Okay. Now another special or specific type of weathering, we call that erosion. Erosion is when rocks and soil are moved by wind or water to a new place. So where weathering kind of makes cracks and destroys rocks a little bit, a specific part of erosion or of weathering is erosion and that's when rocks will actually move from one place to another. If you take a look at this picture here, you can see a river at the bottom of a valley or canyon. You see these rocks here. There's two forces acting on these rocks. The first force we can talk about is the water. Probably a long time ago, maybe millions of years ago, tens of thousands or millions of years ago, this land was flat. The water came by and the water dug into the ground and it carried that ground away and downstream. So the water moved the rock and it kept digging down into the earth. Now, after that happened, then the wind comes along. When the wind's moving over the flat plain, you know, everything's, you know, it's just picking up the, the grass. But now the wind has a canyon or walls to go around. And this wind can get very strong. And as the wind goes around, it will carry away pieces of the rock. And it will actually carve the rock. You might not think about it because it takes a very, very long time for wind to shape rock. But you get some very interesting shapes with the wind and the wind will also smooth out the rock, right? It's, a, it's kind of like sandpaper uh, going on the rock for thousands and thousands and in some cases millions of years and shaping the rock into uh, different uh, shapes. And we call that erosion because basically the rocks are being moved. First, the rocks are being moved downstream and second, the wind is blowing the rocks off the face of the cliff and down and kind of smoothing out the sides of the cliff. So that's what's going on. Erosion, when rocks and soil are moved by wind or water to a new place. Okay, now we can also talk about this verb here, to dig, and this is something that people do. Animals do this too. If you have a dog and you have a yard, you might look at your dog and your dog's digging around in the ground in your backyard. To dig. To dig just means to move soil, and this would be soil, right, ground, from one place to another. So if you use a shovel and you dig, you're moving that soil or ground from one place and you're putting it into another place. So to dig means to move soil from one place to another. Usually human beings and animals will dig, but water, as we saw on the previous slide, water can also dig into the ground, okay? Now, to break, we talked about break, right? Weathering is kind of like a breaking down of the rocks, right? To break means to separate into many different pieces. Oh no, looks like somebody's piggy bank got broken. But maybe this isn't a bad thing, right? Maybe whoever owns this piggy bank took a hammer and they broke it because they want the money. Maybe they're going to buy a present for somebody, their sister or their brother. It's their birthday coming up soon. They need some money, so they break the piggy bank and they get the money out of it. Do you have a piggy bank at home? Well, if you do, you might one day break your piggy bank. Of course, many piggy banks are made of plastic. They have the little cap on the bottom. So this is a little bit dangerous, actually. But anyway, this is what happens when something breaks, right? It separates into many different pieces. It was one whole thing before. It breaks apart. Now you have many different pieces. That's exactly what's going on when we're talking about weather changing rocks, right? The weather is breaking that whole rock into several different pieces. Erosion is moving pieces of that rock from one place to another. Okay, <clears throat> isn't that sweet? We have a heart-shaped pile of dirt. <laughs> That's very sweet. Okay, so this is shaped as a, as a heart, right? Okay, but this is dirt. When we talk about dirt, we've talked about soil a lot already in the lessons, right? But there's a lot of different words that mean the same thing as soil, and dirt is one of them, right? We can call it ground, we can call it soil, we can call it dirt. 
earth or soil. By the way, of course, you're probably familiar with the word, the adjective, whoops, with the adjective dirty, right? Dirty, of course, comes from dirt because if you go out and you play in the dirt all day long, you come back home, you've got dirt on your clothes, you've got dirt on your hands, your mother says, you are dirty, right? Go clean up, right? So, of course, dirt uh, makes people dirty, but dirt is also important for us, right? Uh, of course, especially in soil. This looks like good dirt because this is good dirt to grow plants in, okay? So dirt isn't always, always something to avoid. Sometimes dirt is a good thing. And, and when it's shaped like a heart, okay, who can resist good dirt, okay? Lesson eight, how does earth change? Flood. A flood happens when it rains a lot and the rivers and streams overflow. Drought. A long period of time when there is little or no rain. The land gets very dry. Crack. An opening in the ground. A crack is made when the land is dry. Weathering. The breakdown of rocks by the action of rain, snow, wind, etc. Erosion. When rocks and soil are moved by wind or water to a new place. Dig. Dig means to move soil from one place to another. Break. To separate into many different pieces. Dirt, earth or soil.